Sup guys, I'm back. Today I'm doing another movie review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Godzilla vs. Megaguirus from the year 2000. Hence, well it's a little weird because um, the movie Godzilla 2000 was actually made in 1999. But this movie was actually the Godzilla movie that was made in 2000. So yeah, as you may or may not know, uh, my top 5 least favorite Godzilla movies, this was on there. I made a mistake. I actually do like this movie. Call it blasphemy, but I might like it a little more than Godzilla 2000. <laughs> I don't know. This movie was all right. It was. It wasn't like phenomenal, but it was. It was in, about the middle of a pack. It was. It was all right. So yeah, guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this review. So basically, guys, what this is, what this movie is, is this is actually not a sequel to Godzilla 2000. This is yet another direct sequel to the original Godzilla movie. So, yeah, basically the scientists have, de have designed a new plan to kill Godzilla. That is to put him into a black hole, to have a black hole swallow him. What they do is they've created a black hole gun that could shoot like a black hole and they're planning on sucking Godzilla into it so he won't cause any more problems again. So yeah, there's basically that. And once they test the black hole, they create like a little wormhole. And uh, apparently an ancient dragonfly, a prehistoric dragonfly came out of it. And uh, this one kid found an egg uh, that was basically, and he dropped it in a sewer. Which, if you know about dragonflies, they kind of lay their eggs near water. So, or something like that. So they, there's hundreds of eggs that have hatched, and now the city, I think it's Osaka, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, um, has now flooded. There's it's full of water, and basically these little dragonflies that fly are called Meganula, and um, they get they have a run-in with Godzilla on this one island, and what they're doing is they're sucking, like taking like that, and I talk today, but what they're doing is they see Godzilla as an energy source, and they're sucking some of the energy out of them. But Godzilla is able to basically destroy them all. So basically on this island, it's uninhabited. And it's the perfect place to test out the black hole gun. So they test it out. They, they fire it from orbit. And um, basically, Godzilla survives a black hole. That's saying something. Godzilla actually survived the black hole. And they can't fire it again because it takes about an hour to cool down. So basically, the, the next scene is actually underwater. So basically, the Meganula have chosen, usually with the Meganula, that I cannot talk today, man. What is wrong with me? So basically, the Meganula uh, choose a queen or a king or whatever. And that's and they took the energy from Godzilla and put it into the queen. And it's giant. So it's created Megagirus, which is the adult, like the, the final stage of the, of the Meganula. And... Basically, it now has Godzilla DNA, so it can shoot like a big fireball as well. So, Godzilla and the Megalunula fight, and so Godzilla basically is starting to get his ass kicked, you know, early in the fight, you know, because Megalunula, that Megagirus is actually really, really fast. So, yeah, Godzilla actually, like, Megagirus actually uh, crashes him into a building, and then he drops another building on his head, and that may have knocked back, that may have, um, that hit in the head may have, um, I don't know what you call it, may have uh, flashed back Godzilla. I don't know if that was dramatically correct, but he like flashed back to like a Showa era, era yeah, Showa era fights because this final battle feels like a lot, like, feels a lot like the Showa era final battles. I don't know what it is, like the way that Godzilla and, and Mega Gears fight, it just feels very Showa like, especially the Godzilla body slam. Godzilla really jumps up and just crashes into to Mega Gears. That's a, a hilarious scene. But Godzilla is basically able to defeat Mega Gears, and they use the black hole gun again, and it works. Godzilla is basically gone. So yeah, that's how the movie ends. But there is an end credit scene to this movie, and I don't think a lot of people know that. So basically, the kid that dumped the egg in the sewer, in the sewer, he's basically at his school. He's dropping something off. He turns around, but then the ground starts to shake. He turns around. And we hear Godzilla's roar. Godzilla survived 
the black hole. That's crazy. That is crazy. How can he survive that? I have no idea, but he survived. It's ridiculous. So yeah, that's basically the movie, you guys. So yeah, guys, I actually found this movie very, very interesting. You know, I thought the idea of like creating a black hole gun and trying to suck guys all into it and like have them disappear forever. I actually thought that was very, very interesting. A very, very cool idea. But um, it's all right. You know, again, it's not like up here, but it's not like way down at the bottom. It's like middle of the pack. And um, Mega Gears itself, eh, it's an all right monster. It's definitely not one of my favorites. But it's a, eh, it's, I can see why people don't like this monster a lot. Because actually, here's a, little, here's a little story right here. When I was little, I uh, looked up on the computer, Godzilla vs. Mothra, and a clip from the final battle of this movie came up. And I thought, oh, that's Mothra. But boy, was I wrong. Because this is not Mothra whatsoever. Um, it kind of has some similarities, but when you look at it, it's like, how is that Mothra? I don't, I don't know. I was, I was an idiot when I was a kid. I was also an idiot when I started this channel, putting this movie in my top five least favorites. But, um, yeah, that's basically the movie, you guys. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, oh my God, all one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.